Have you ever wanted to make your own animated film? How about an animated film you could fit in your pocket? Today, we're going to talk about flipbooks. And flipbooks are amazing because they're really easy to make. All you need is something you can draw with. And then you need something with a straight edge that you can flip. Maybe a notebook like this, or like this, or maybe some sticky notes. Here are my top tips for making your very own flipbook. Think about the story you're telling first. It's got to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. It helps to plan out with a storyboard first. I think my story is going to be about an astronaut with a jetpack because I've always wanted my own jetpack. Now, keep it simple because you're going to have to draw this picture over and over and over again. There we go. And now I'm ready to make my own flipbook. It doesn't matter if you flip from front to back or from back to front, but it's a good idea to start drawing from the back. That way you can trace anything that hasn't changed from your previous page. This technique is called onion skinning and it's a good way to make your flipbook look really professional. Animation is all about making things look like they're moving. So you need to think about how things move. For example, my astronaut is running. So I need to not just draw his legs moving, but also his arms and maybe even his head. One of the most important tips is to keep checking your work every couple of pages to make sure it lines up. And the nice thing is, since you're doing it in pencil, if anything doesn't line up exactly right, you can just rub it out and start again. Once you've drawn everything in pencil, you can leave it as it is, or you can add stuff to it. For example, I'm going over mine with pen to make it look nice and bold. You might want to color yours in. If you do this, make sure the coloring is consistent on every page. I'm pretty pleased with how my flipbox turned out. And now it's your turn. Try it yourself, make your own flipbook you can have your very own animated film in your pocket. If you want to know more, I recommend checking out the 12 basic principles of animation. These are the rules that animators have been following since the 1930s. You can find them in a link in the description for this video.